We're going to do some drawing of some series parallel circuits today. And I want to start off with some simple circuits and then we'll move forward from there. Okay, I like to use what's considered to be a ladder diagram. Now, that means that it's just like it's going to be runs of a ladder. I'm going to use my L1 and my N, which is my power source. And I'm going to have the lines coming down. Okay, to do a series circuit, you can see my power coming in. We're going to put us a lamp in that circuit. That is actually a very simple series circuit. But let's make it a little bit more and let's put <coughs> a switch. You'll notice that there's only one path for the current and anything that passes through the switch also has to pass through the light. If we want to make this circuit a little bit more complicated, I'm going to add another lamp into it. Now I would have two lamps in series, or two loads in series. Now, once again, you can see that anything that passes out of the L1 current-wise has to go through both loads and back to the neutral. Now, when we say series parallel, we, com we combine both of those. But let's do parallel first so that we have an understanding of a parallel circuit. Now these two lamps are in parallel, but they're in series with the switch. So this is a series parallel circuit, but this part is your parallel. I could come on up and actually have more loads like so. In fact, I could even come and have a combination of series parallel all the way through. As you can see, all these are in parallel to one another. These two lamps are in series with one another, but they're in parallel to the others, with all of them being in series with the switch. You may have actually more than one switch or more than one control in a circuit. You can see that I have a normally closed contact at that particular point, but it is also in series with these loads. We may actually have other uh, devices. For example, this may be a separate switch for this circuit only, which this switch would be in series with this one lamp. But they are, again, parallel circuits together here. Now, we're going to break this down a little bit more in our next video, but don't let series parallel confuse you. Every circuit out here has some sort of series parallel combination. Our lights in the room, for example, these lights are in parallel to one another, but in series with the switch. The switch operates all the lamps in the room. Okay? All right, let's break that off right there. Rick.